Hello everybody, this is Not Like Games, and today we are playing a game called The Hospital. Now, I gotta keep it low because I have family sleep and stuff, but uh, before I uh, get into the details of this game, um, I just want to let you guys know I'm sorry for for all the, uh, not I haven't been uploading a lot, I've been focusing on the Desolate livestream a lot lately, but uh, I've also just been sidetracked, so I haven't been uploading a lot at all lately, and I really need to up that again, but uh, yeah, we're gonna play the hospital. Um, anyway, I got this game off of itch.io. Um, it is. It said it was like a twenty to thirty minute horror game, and from what I saw, it looked like it was pretty good. But uh, yeah, we're gonna get into it, guys. Just experience headphones. Well, I got them. Are crappy, but I got them. Uh. Might be good. The virus got me. I was hoping I would be among the majority who got only mild symptoms and recovery quickly, but my condition grew worse day by day. I checked into this hospital last week, barely able to breathe. I paid a lot to get. A private room, and I was lucky the manage, they managed to find me. There are no vacant rooms in hospitals across the country as the pandemic wrecks havoc. COVID? Hmm? I don't know. It's a, pe it's a pandemonium out there. So many sick, so many dying. I feel like I've become a number of statistic. Interesting. I think I'm growing sicker. I feel faint and weak all the time. Yesterday at night, they had to increase my oxygen intake. I heard them talking about having to put me under to, to, into, I can't even freaking speak, intubate me if my condition deteriorated further, uh, further, yeah. But if I don't make it, it would be a horrible way to go dying alone in this room. I was never a believer in God or in heaven or in any of those fairy tales. I wonder what happens to a person after they die. I've never really stopped to think about it until now. I guess I was too busy living life and chasing shadows to think about that. Yeah, I hope you guys can hear me. I'm having trouble keeping it down, but I'm doing the I'm working with the best I got. I'm feeling weak, so weak. I think I'll sleep now. Can barely breathe. Now, why does it seem like it's like COVID or something? I'm really curious to know what's going on here. Already getting kind of interesting here. Uh, okay. Hospital bed. I'm up. How am I up on my feet? I can't remember getting out of bed. Uh, walk around using the WASD keys. Look with your mouse. Uh, observe in surroundings by clicking in objects in the world. Well, I'm no noob. But I know. I know WSD. I'm not a noob. Stop call me a noob game. Uh, maybe I am. A, I am a noob. I'm new to this game, but I'm a gamer. <laughs> the game saves. Okay, that's cool. Saves automatically. Uh, I bet it looks as if it was recently made. When the when did I get off it? Who came in and made it? I don't remember any of it. The rest of the room looks neat too, as if this room was recently vacant. Uh, I spent days on this bed struggling to breathe. It feels weird to be up and about. Chairs for visitors. Except being in, in quarantine, I had no visitors. I swear, this game is definitely about COVID, isn't it? Uh, it's silent. I remember the doctors and nurses hugging me up to this thing. It's infernal, beeping the hiss of pumping oxygen. It one, it's one of those terrifying things in hospitals, all the machines whose purpose you don't know. A bathroom door appears to be locked. Huh. Hello, lady. There's someone out there. Yeah, I see that. It's a lady that just passed. Could be a doctor. I need to find out what's going on. Yeah, let's go. Let's find out what's going on. We're probably going to get killed most likely, but yeah. Where is everybody? When I checked in here, 
These corridors were a bit a, a but well, I can't speak <laughs> a buzz with activity. Day and night, nurses and doctors bustling around about that tiny announcements, urgently paging doctors and or ordeals, wheeling patients to different wings. I swear, it's dead silent now. A neat unnerving. I don't understand what's going on with me today. I'm, I swear, I'm like this all the time. I can freaking speak. It's like strange. There are no signs. I could swear there were signs besides the doors, corridorly. Obstacles, obstacles, radiology, etc. Where does the store lead? The windows are opaque. I can't see a thing through them. Hmm. Locked. That's odd. There's no room numbers on the doors. I'm pretty sure I'd seen room numbers when I checked. So maybe the guy's dreaming or... Yeah, I mean, I'm... Maybe the guy's dreaming. I'm curious. Or maybe he's, he could be hallucinating. Who knows? It's definitely, it definitely seems to be like he's in his own world. Sealed just like the others. Yeah. Um. Hmm. We got a front desk. Reception. When I checked in here, struggling to breathe, there were two haired but kindly nurses sitting behind this desk answering cells. Filing papers, welcome to patients. They sure had their hands full. Um, one thing I do notice, obviously, is that there doesn't seem to be anybody here except for that girl. So, yeah, I think this guy's having something psychotic going on with him. No luck. The windows are dark. I can't see a thing through them. Then these doors open out to the lobby with elevators that would have been on my way out. Except it looked, looks like I can't leave this way. I should probably find another way. Oh, that that got me a little bit. Who was that? A woman, a nurse, or a doctor? Perhaps I fell a patient. Yeah, we're gonna go get. We're gonna check it out and get killed. Oh, we got a flickering light. <laughs> the doors are ajar. Corridor stretches onwards beyond. The figure I saw earlier must have gone through here. And of course, we're going through it to our death. Most likely. I don't know what's going to happen, but most likely our death. Because I know these games. Uh. What is this now? I thought that was going to, like, do something. Like, ring or something. I don't know. Are these patient wards? Why are they this? Why well, I can't speak. Deserted. Why well, I can't speak. Why are they deserted? All the doors locked. There's got to be someone, a nurse or a doctor, who, who can help me and tell me who, what's going on. It's locked, same as others. Every door, same story. Where has everyone gone? I don't know. That's what we're trying to find out. That's kind of a mystery. What? And knocking from the other side of this door. Why do I feel like this game's gonna pull some PT stuff? Is that a, is that a shit stain on the freaking bed? I remember it looks like the one I was in, but it's in the state of diarrhea. I'm gonna just say diarrhea. I didn't even read that fast enough. I skipped over. It's in the state of diarrhea. <laughs> there appears to be something on the bed. Yeah, it's called shit. <clears throat> it's exactly what it looks like. There's some kind of stain in the middle of it. I guess it wasn't cleaned after the last patient departed. That figure. A door opened, the sound came from the out there. Uh, well. Sounds like we're going to be dealing with somebody soon. I saw something on the TV I figured suited against noise. It reminded me of... No, it can't be. I must be imagining things. Maybe that's what the, this whole thing is. Some lucid dream I'm having while still lying in bed in some kind of coma. Yeah, that's what it seems like. Interesting. 
So I guess we just keep going. You know, that's what I think it is, like a lucid dream, or he's, he's, uh, I don't know, some, maybe in some sort of sleep walk. Hi. You kind of look like Ruvik from, from Evil Within. You're all like white and stuff. You kind of look like Ruvik. Which, by the way, I, I beat both of those great games. If you guys want to see those on the channel, let me know. I'll be sure to replay those for you guys. It's locked. Who shut the door? The body in there, a corpse. This is a dream. It's growing increasingly dis disturbing. Yeah, you don't say. A dead body making noises or something. I don't know. I'm literally watching my back like someone's about to come behind me. Is someone toying with me? I'm a, 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 am I being lead, led? Wow, well, I can't speak. <laughs> that figure I saw. It can't be her. This is a dream, a nightmare, rather in which I'm trapped. How can it be her? Well, who's her? Tell me who's her. I'm really curious to find out. <laughs> uh, oh. Lights flickering a lot. I swear, I'm really waiting for a jump scare. I know it's gonna happen. What? How? How did I get here? I recognize this place. The furniture and the, the way they're arranged. It looks like the apartment where we used to live, but everything looks abandoned and gone to rot. There's something on the table there. Yeah, this place is also... Hi, lady. It can't be. It can't be her. I can't see her face, but I'd know her anyway. Anywhere. Yeah. How is this possible? She's been dead for four years. Uh. The character's silence. Or the characteristic silence. Yeah. This cannot be happening. This is some monstrous dream I must wake up from. Memories of the horrific events of four years ago are flooding back. The doubt and guilt that I have haunted me since. Could I have saved her had I d done things differently and at what cost? Only cold silence. What does she want? Well, I'm... Oh? Yeah? Did I... Did not really happen? Am I going crazy? Probably. You're probably going very crazy. Or is this some fever dream seated by my past while my body lies wasted away in a coma on a hospital bed? Yeah, this is getting interesting, guys. I, I like this a lot. Nia? Yeah. I remember this picture we had taken it out of the koi just after yet another bitty bitter eh, fight. She was just 24, but, but by the end she had already begun to show increasingly frightening signs of the mental illness that would later consume her. Erratic violent shifts in temperament, brooding silence f fixed stars and obsession with the whereabouts self-harm. I tried to get her to get help. She refused. When it was clear she was becoming a danger to both of us, I ended her our relationship. And then it got worse, a lot worse. The phone calls, the stalking, the threats. And finally I woke up one night to find her standing over my bed staring at me, her dark eyes empty and uh, or unable, her mouth stretched in a chilling grin. And when I saw what she was holding in her hand... Oh? Yeah, this, I do like this game so far. It's, uh... For an indie game, it's it's really good. Like it reminds me sort of of the older uh, amnesias. This is why I like horror games; they're always fun to play. What is this place? I had the, uh, sorry about the pause. I was just stopping to see what the hell was gonna happen. 
Uh, what's behind door number one? It's gonna pull, I swear, it's gonna pull a PT, isn't it? It seems like the exact same room or hallway, only a, de a corpse or whatever. A dead body abandoned the corridor. The stench here is clawing. I, sh I should move on. It's gonna get up. It's probably gonna get up. I have a feeling as soon as I try to interact with the door right here, it's gonna get up. Doesn't budge. Oh, it didn't get up. Okay, I wasn't expecting that, but that got me a little bit. I probably shook my webcam a little bit there, guys. Now we're open. Good. Oh, there's a lot of you now. Is that a dead kid or something? So that looks like that body looks a lot smaller than the rest of these guys. Uh, what, what, what was that? Oh, you show me, you're showing me your feet. And let me give you a little tickle. I need a little tickle. Uh, damn it, he's boring. He's not reacting, guys. I think he's dead. <laughs> no. Hmm. I'm literally waiting for a jump scare. I'm waiting for one of these guys to just get up in front of me. I really thought there was going to be a jump scare there. I'm surprised. As always, doors are locked. Dramatic. Dramatic music while she walks by Nia. On another night four years ago when I woke up to find her standing over me, she was holding a knife. I had a f I, I knew it was going to be a knife. As I watched, she raised it and held it to her own throat. She said, I don't want to live without you. Before she could hurt herself, I leaped at her, grabbed the blade away, and subdued her till the authorities arrived. They put her away in the institute, a mental hospital. And a week later, I got th that terrible call. So she killed herself in the mental hospital? I'm, at least I'm assuming. And, okay, so she hung herself. Oh, Neo, oh God. Why did you do it? Why did you have to go like this? They told me... What you'd written on that note, you left your last words. <laughs> what do you want from me, Nia? I did what I could. Why are you tormenting me? Hmm. So she's like haunted my guy or something, maybe? Hi. Nia? What do you want from me? I think of that note you left the last words you ever wrote. Oh. You wrote, I'm never going to let you go. I know those words were meant for me. Is that what this is about? That had I done things differently, perhaps been more compassionate, you might still be alive. And I was waiting for the jump scare. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you know what jump scares you play you know you played so many horror games when the jump scares is coming. Sometimes sometimes I do get you though, but yeah. I uh, I'm back in my room. How did I get here? Nia? I bet I was lying on fighting for my life, am I well? Am I well, or am I still trapped in this nightmare? Uh... Huh. Do I dare go out there? What will I find if I 
hustling hospital smiling faces telling me I'm better and I can go home or shadowy hall halls haunting by my, my past am I in a coma trapped in a body that I was w wasting away while I suffer a fever dream born of guilt or am I dead and is this my afterlife these dream these dread halls and a tormented soul stalking me after all for all eternity that yeah, I swear sorry about that guys Oh, that was it? Well, that was a good game, guys. Um, I hope... Sorry, I bounced on my pun. Oh? Hmm? Crooks Game Studios. It was a good game. Definitely, definitely check out the rest of their games. Uh, Yeah, this game was pretty good. Um... Anyway, guys, I hope you liked it. Hit the bell icon, hit the like button. Um, like I said, I'm gonna definitely try and get more videos out there for you. Videos out there for you guys. Um, there's a bunch of a couple series I want to get out there, but yeah. Anyway, I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.